Hello everyone, this is Tampor and welcome to my new video. This one is a Diwali special video. Diwali is the biggest festival in India. It's a season of lights, laughter and happiness. Everyone joining their families, exchanging gifts and even the consumer spending this season deciding the fate of economy. It's all fun and happiness if you're with your friends and family. But if you're like me, migrant in various cities for work, the whole scenario is not that sparkly. Check out why. Number one, house takeovers. It's finally Diwali, so you're getting a couple of days off, so you plan to chill at home for a while, you know. Suddenly, your landlord calls and says they're coming over on the Diwali day. You're like cursing them for ruining your laid back holiday mood, and then they release the bigger shock by announcing that the entire clan will be at your drawing room for two hours performing some kind of ritual on the landlady's favorite gold idol permanently placed in some corner of that room. So basically, my house is being taken over by the landlord on a holiday although I regularly pay my rent because he feels so. What the f***? Now number two, death threats. You know what? Growing up in the village, crackers were the main reason I loved festivals. And I still try to blow up the village whenever I get a chance. You know, all of us, friends and family used to get together, pull in some money and buy lots of ass popping loud crackers to blow the village up. Man, one hell of a celebration those were. But the whole idea of crackers changed after I moved to cities. Walking in city streets during Diwali feels like you're in the middle of a real war zone. I have had high power bombs tossed from across the wall and bursting right in front of me on the street because the auntie the other side feels that it is not safe for the kids to burst it inside their compound so they basically toss it across the high wall into the street. Another time, a rocket from my neighbor burst inside our house after it lost control stuck in some cables. The best however was when my bike lost control and crashed on a divider after a bunch of kids thought the most fun is in throwing crackers onto riders. Now number three, cleaning fridge. I love clean places. I love them. As long as somebody else is getting it done for me. But after I moved to a new apartment building last year, I developed a serious commitment issue to cleaning. My neighbor's place stink of cow urine during the so-called Diwali cleaning weekend. Apparently they are disinfected. I go near my window which is like diagonal to the apartment and it will sting so bad that I can't be in that room for two straight days. This year's ordeal is over and we're shifting so hopefully there's no more cow pee sting from next year. Number 4. Blackmailing When all your roommates and colleagues and even neighbors leave to their motherlands to celebrate Diwali with their family, you're broke and penniless and spend time in your room trying to find a travel option to go home that you can afford. Man, Diwali season belongs only to the rich in the city because this is the time of the year the entire national economy tries to squeeze money from you till the last paisa you have. Everything and everyone is trying to rip you off with bus charges gone like 5 times over, overbooked trains with dynamic pricing of multifold increase to fare, and the air fares are there all time high in the country. They're basically blackmailing you with your emotional need to go home and be with your family, man. Not fair. If you can book some travel during Diwali season to go someplace in this country, you know that you have finally arrived at the richest of the rich in the country. Number 5. The Gift Karma What goes around comes around is karma and the same shit applies to Diwali gifts. This is your time to apply your intellects and strategic expertise into practice to make sure that you don't get the same cheap ass gift which you gave to your neighbor which you originally got from your office. Considering the fact that someone like me is eternally broke, the only practical way to distribute gift in the Diwali scale is to adopt the environmentally friendly way. Reduce, reuse and recycle. And by the way, Diwali gifting is the only time you are ever going to use the permutation and combination lessons you learned in school. And you thought you are never going to use them, didn't you? Wishing you all a very happy Diwali and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, click thumbs up and share them with all your friends. And check out my other videos here or in the description. And once again, I make new videos every week, so remember to subscribe. See you next week. Ciao.